I have a lot of pride in my school. Now that I'm graduating, wherever I go, I know I'm still representing them. I'm gonna wanna brag about my school. I'm gonna wanna tell everybody. I love to create, I love to build, I love to design. I always thought like, oh, I can't make money if I'm doing something artistic. I have to be doing something like my dad does as an engineer. And I'll be able to support my family. My mom really worked hard for me to be able to attend summer camps in those fields. I really only enjoyed the part where I got to decorate the rocket or I got to design how the plane would look. I went to the corporate work study staff. I was able to communicate with them. I want to do something in engineering. And so they placed me at Bolt. Bolt is a nationally ranked contractor. We have 15 locations nationwide and we have over 2,000 employees. And when we first joined Cristo Ray, we were trying to recruit more women in the industry. They love being involved in construction. They get to see like different roles and perspectives that they can do. I was shocked, like, there are more women here than I would have imagined working in a construction industry, especially to have a leadership position. It's been inspiring to see someone else like you who knows the ropes, who can guide me. They even let me proofread some of the project proposals, and so I get to be part of looking at the minor details. Are these pictures aligned? Did we spell that right? I've gotten to shadow other departments. My favorite would be shadowing Miss Gabriella at the Blessed Stanley Rother Shrine. Her position is to oversee that project. She's been very open to letting me look over her shoulder. I realized, ah, that's where my passion lies. I want to do architectural engineering. Like, mechanical, electrical, those both just passed out of my mind. I actually get to draw and design, but I do still get to do the engineering side of things. It's like marrying <laughs> my two passions together. I can draw something and then stand inside of it one day. Like that thought amazes me. It's kind of magical. I wouldn't have had an opportunity to do this if I hadn't gone to Cristo Rey. I hear from college students all the time like, wait, you got an internship as a freshman? Yes, I've had an internship all four years, whereas they don't get an internship until their senior year in college. So I can see that I'm a step ahead. Also, the corporate work-study team and the academic team, they always try to work together to make sure that we're learning in both spaces. Checking I don't do as well in math class. Thankfully, I have peers and I have teachers who care about my success. They show me, like, these are the concepts you're going to need when you get to college. Without that individual support, I might not have passed those math classes, and that, that's scary because I really I want to be prepared so that I don't have to take extra classes when I get to college, so I can save that time and money. And I see that I can do this. If I keep persevering, I know what I'm capable of. I want to attend OSU. It might be a little ambitious, and I'm sure there are going to be times where I'm going to want to quit, but if there's anything I've learned from the corporate work-study program and from a college prep school is that if I'm not challenging myself, how am I ever going to learn? How am I ever going to be better? Eliana going into construction just really makes me feel much more comfortable about our future. There are future leaders. If they thrive, the world thrives. Oklahoma City is going to look great and it's just going to be an infectious fire that continues. Following college with my bachelor's in the science of architectural engineering, I'd love to come back to Bolt or to any other construction firm and build up to this place where I can have my name on the blueprints of some big project one day. I do believe I can do it. I've been prepared. <laughs>